Well, since I was little and Yuri was little, everybody saw the, the sport in Europe as yeah, the major um, league and everybody always dreamed to be an Olympic rider or things like that. And every time we thought about Europe, the first thing that came in our mind of a top sport was Aachen. You know, when I was in Brazil, it's not like today that you have YouTube or things like this. Uh, the, the only three shows I was more aware about was the Olympics, Aachen, Hamburg and Hickstead, and then four shows, not three. These four shows, in my mind at that time, was really what I, I was what was best to do, you know, as a horse rider. So I always had this in mind. The first experience I had uh, to to be in a big show was Hickstead, 1998. I went there to watch the final of the European Championship. And I was impressive with the place and yeah, about the competition when Alexander Landerman was the the champion. Uh, and I remember it was a, a unbelievable moment because I was so excited about and I said to a friend of mine, Camila Benedict, that was there with me, I said, one day I'm going to win this show. I come back here and I'm going to win this show. And in that moment it was like a Far away from reality, I was starting my groom career in, at Ludo, you know, was just grooming and uh, yeah, I was jumping 120, 130, I was 18 already, so it was really far away from the possibilities I had in that moment, but I never forget. And then, for sure, before any other show, Aachen was always really impressive in my heart and in my mind. And then in 2008, Together with Ludo, he invited me to, to, to be with him in that show, so he gave me an accreditation. And I could be everywhere, I could walk the course. So it was some beautiful memories I have about this weekend. And when I went to walk the Grand Prix with Ludo, Philippe Lejeune was also together, and uh, I took the grass of Aken, a lot of grass of Aken, and I, I said to them, look, I'm gonna put my pocket, and one day when I win here, I'm gonna bring this grass back, you know, like, um, so that was really, really uh, a vision in my mind. You well, know? the first time when we were invited to jump in Aachen was 2000... 2018. I remember I was working, I had my laptop and I received an email from FEI, Yuri Mansour, you are invited uh, to jump in Aachen. I, wa I don't know exactly what I was doing, but I remember exactly when Luizy did call and me. Yuri was not in, in the office at the time, I was calling, I was calling, he was not answering the phone. And uh, she was screaming so much that I, in that moment I thought something bad happened with a horse or even with my kids. And I think he was sleeping or something, he was day off or I don't know what he was doing. And then um, I was screaming with him on the phone, we are in, we are in! I could not understand what she's saying and she was saying, we got the invitation to Aachen, you know, so... And um, yeah, first day I was clear, I was placed with a young horse and then the Turkish Grand Prix, the European Grand Prix came. So the first class in Aachen was uh, the Turkish Grand Prix on Wednesday and VTK started in that class. I was not sure if I could be clear, so yeah, it was a, uh, a lot of, of, of pressure on. His horse was fantastic, he was a clear round, perfect, easy and he was just ready for it and, and everybody was super, super happy and super proud of him that he was uh, jumping that and he was ready for it. I remember uh, Pedro was there, he was even uh, with the costume from Spider-Man and he was jumping there in the fences. He was super happy about it and he was screaming and Yuri was pff, in the sky. And uh, yeah, then there's a story everybody knows a bit, you know, I went there, I went clear. I think only six, seven clears in this class. And unfortunately, when I come back to the jump off, I had this, this accident with Vichiki and... That uh, was sadly um, one of the biggest mark we had in our lives uh, was when Vitiki brought his fat log in three pieces. Uh, and it was a really hard moment, you know, and, and uh, 
all this process to recover Vitic and recover myself from this day was really hard and yeah. And it was a very, very long trip, very long journey. Two years later or three years later, yeah, 2021, uh, three years later then, uh, not uh, as an individual but uh, as a team, I, I had the, the possibility to come back to the show again. Also because I could come back there with Vitiki, what was really big, big stuff for everybody in this table and yeah, obviously for myself and I suppose also for him. And then we come back to 2023. Um, yeah, it was already an amazing year, you know, with all the results I was uh, having. And, and then also I was really feeling that from the first time I went to Aachen, it was the first time I was really back in the best, you know, in all my best. So when we were again invited to Aachen in 2023, everybody was happy again. It was a big party and we were excited for the show and as usually uh, Yuri always buys tickets for everybody at the stables to go to Aachen. We, every year that we go to Aachen we try to also bring all the team, you know, like... Uh... And normally we always buy for the Nations Cup because it's a longer class and it's during the night and it's super different and it's a, it's a nice show for, for everybody to go. Luis and every year we did the same, Luis bought the, the tickets for the team. And, of course, Yuri told me Monday before Aachen started that it was wrong, that I needed to buy for Wednesday because he was not jumping the Nations Cup. And so, Luiz, we did a big mistake. I even don't jump the Nations Cup. So I changed all the tickets in the last minute. I don't even know how I found all the tickets enough for Wednesday. And I don't know exactly what she did, but hopefully she, she, she did. And uh, also was her idea to to ask everybody to come on yellow. So, by coincidence, our clothes, the new jackets and all the yellow t-shirts and everything just arrived. So everybody was completely yellow. Made everything even more special, not only for myself, not only for us, but uh, I don't know how many people said me, I never watched the prize ceremony, but that day I was watching, it was so nice to watch, and, you know, because uh, yeah, all this energy and uh, all this, 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 and these people together made everything even more special, for sure. So I decided to, to risk and bring my, my young mare, Miss Blue, that maybe wasn't experienced enough to this class. And uh, I remember the feeling I had when I walked the course in the morning. The course was there already and it was so big. I remember the last line, vertical, vertical uh, combination. Most of the riders, we stopped in front of this combination. It was like, like, uh, like Sunday Grand Prix knocking, you know. And you know, it was a lot of, 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 of pressure because the mare was young enough and inexperienced enough for, for all this. Miss Blue, for example, she was doing a very good job. He was, she, was, um, she was just second in the Nations Cup in St. Gallen and she did a great job in, in Le Bowl and was, she was jumping amazing. Uh, but Aachen is a very high top level and of course I, I was expecting her to be good, but not as good as she was. Sobre Aachen é um sonho, né? Porque eu fui lá algumas vezes, falei que eu ia ter um cavalo que ia ganhar lá e o sonho se concretizou. E no fundo, assim, sem querer ser arrogante uh, ou, uh, como que eu posso dizer, convencida, eu tinha certeza que ela ia ganhar desde o primeiro momento que eu cheguei lá e não foi diferente. É, e a emoção é inexplicável, porque não tem nada que pague a emoção que foi naquele dia. Sometimes you have this feeling that uh, yeah, you know that uh, that uh, everything go, gonna go well. And the yeah, first round, I have to say, was easy enough for her. She did it really really like uh, like if she had all the experience in the world. And uh, I remember when we went to the jump off, also something really, really different happened because during the winter um, I had many jump offs against um, Edward and uh, he was the first one to go in the jump off and I was the second one and I knew how fast was his horse, you know, and I knew how fast he could be. Many times he was always uh, in front of me, just one position or one second in front of me, so I knew that it was really hard to beat him. 
And I have to say, when I watched his his jump off, I said, "Wow, today gonna be gonna be really hard to win because he did almost everything perfect." So I said, "I cannot be faster than he, him. What I gonna try to do is the same plan than him." So I just copied. And um, yeah, I was I don't know how many exactly se uh, less than second faster than him, and uh, yeah. And then I have to say it was like uh, wow, unbelievable feeling. Uh, I know that it's not the Sunday Grand Prix, maybe it's not as important as the Sunday Grand Prix, but um, like I said many times, I have already a long story in this sport and I have many, I can take many parts and, 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 and uh, make from it a nice story to, 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 to say, you know, but uh, if you take this Turkish Grand Prix from 2018 until 2023, it's like, uh, yeah, like a, a movie, you know, like uh, how everything went and how how everything uh, uh, finished in the end, you know, like uh, with a, a happy end like that, you know. So, yeah. And then in that moment, all the memory, all the effort we put it inside, the, not only from myself, from all the family on the team, yeah, it was crazy, crazy experience. And Marcelo, the vet, was again there because he's Aachen and he's always there because it's also his dream, Aachen. So he, every time you're using Aachen, he's also there. With the end with the winner of Europe Grand Prix with Miss Blue, it was the stamp that if we believe with a fight, we're gonna know that we can make it happen. This day, I'm sure we will never, never forget. You know, and uh, Louise had a really, really good idea after the class, you know, because I don't know if People had the opportunity to go to Aachen when there is no show in Aachen, you know. It's a bit the same feeling than go to Coliseo, you know. It's like, uh, like if there is own life in that place, you know. Um, and I was, I was there in front of the arena. Um, I sit in the fence and I saw everybody unbuilding the course and building a new course. Uh, half of the lights were on, so it was kind of darkish moment. I sat there in, in the fence and I was just crying again and, and, and thanking God for, for that moment, for, for him to give me that back, you know, that, that happiness moment again, that um, we really, um, really fight hard to get it back, you know. And then when everything was empty, you know, like around 11, 30, 12, we went there, all the family, and uh, we sit there, you know, yeah was really, yeah, unbelievable to, to feel all this, you know, feel that you really finalize a, 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 a journey and, uh, yeah, in that way, you know. So, yeah, that was for sure an unbelievable moment, yeah. Um, even if it was not Vitiki winning there, we win for her, for him, you know. And I remember Eliana, she came um, next to me and she said to me, um, she sat next to me and she said, you know, um, now you can finally close that book. It's finished. The history is, is out and you don't need to worry about this anymore. And from nowhere, Yuri came also. He just said to me and he, we were, us three sitting there, um, crying and, and, you know, absorbing that moment as, yeah, one of the biggest moments of our lives, that's 100%. It was a beautiful moment and we were just peaceful again. Yeah.